So in this question, it's asking about the foreign exchange market for Mexican pesos. I've drawn the graph to help you out. We've got the demand for pesos, the supply of pesos. What goes down here for quantity? You remember, this is the quantity of pesos. Now, what goes up here? What do you label this? The problem with this question, it doesn't tell us what currency we're comparing pesos to, but we have enough information to figure out the international value of the peso. In other words, what's gonna happen to the value of the peso compared to its major trading partners? For this example, let's just compare pesos to United States dollars. So the price of pesos is how many dollars you get for each peso. That's the exchange rate. The scenario the question gives us is that there's higher inflation in Mexico and it asks what happens to the demand and what happens to the supply of Mexican pesos. The demand for Mexican pesos is not done by people living in Mexico. This is demand from other countries. But people in Mexico supply pesos. In this situation, both are gonna shift, the demand and the supply. The demand is definitely gonna decrease. This happens because other countries do not want to buy Mexican products because the price is higher because there's inflation. At the same time, the supply of Mexican pesos is going to increase. This happens because people in Mexico would prefer not to buy their own products because there's higher prices, but to go buy some products from another country. We started here, we ended up here, and so the exchange rate fell, which means the peso depreciated. That's why the answer is D. Now you might be asking yourself, which one is it? Is it demand or supply for like a test question? The good news is the test will either ask you, does demand gonna change or is supply gonna change? So in the end, it doesn't really matter if there's an increase in supply or a decrease in demand, the peso is still gonna depreciate.